we landed on the idea that we are depicting a labyrinth of memory and details from that labyrinth flow in and out of our container. So it is a memory play and uh, so that's informed a lot of my decisions about the specifics of each environment. It's magical realism so we're a little less attached to reality. Um, so uh, uh, a sunset is just a little bit more heightened, um, just a little bit more mystical. The words, okay, there are particular moments we've decided to go with that, um, that are the actions going to influence what the words do. Um, but for the most part, it's going to be a matter of the accumulation of words as they're happening on stage. Immediately decided that we did not want to have any sort of imagery. We did not want to force um, the audience to think of a particular thing at a particular moment with what's happening on stage. We decided to go with text. We did a lot of detail changes, like focusing on what the time period did, like the drop place for the 20s and the different silhouettes for the 50s and stuff like that, just making sure the pieces looked exactly like the silhouettes dictate what time period it is so that people can look at that and be like, oh, it's clearly the 1920s because she's wearing that dress and her hair's styled like this. So it's been definitely really important to find really accurate research. We want to express the time period, how each character is changing the time. We're working with the uh, emotional track of the characters. Uh, we had an early conversation with Tamala, uh, and that's kind of where we, uh, where she felt sound. Uh, fit into the world and kind of, she just said, you know, sound is following the emotional track uh, and we kind of just went from there. Um, it's a lot more character based analysis than yeah. playing off what just happens. People should see this show, um, in my opinion, because everybody has a story. Everybody that's walked this earth, that will walk this earth, everybody has a story to tell. It's a really interesting story that doesn't really get told all that often. It has really interesting values. It really takes into account who we are and what we do and how it affects so many different generations. The, the actions of one man can affect generations and generations afterwards. Um, and I think that's the big kind of story we want to tell with it is um, how actions just ripple down through generations. People do bad things, and this is a play where people do a lot of bad, selfish things for not very good reasons. But I think through that, we can see our own humanity. Our actions can affect our futures, and you know we have to be careful, and sometimes we're so careless, and we don't think about those, especially the ones who are incredibly important in our lives. Because I believe that everyone can relate to this show in one way or another. It speaks to so many different types of stories that people have and the things that we don't even talk about that we connect to. It, it, it speaks on all of those different levels. It has so many um, universal messages um, about redemption, love, um, what it means to be happy, and what it means to be loyal to people, um, and the fact that we are never because this stuff is still happening. There are people who are still oppressed and there's still like all of this tension in politics and society between people, between political parties that is very much alive and well today that I think we could, we could make so much easier by just loving, by accepting. It's just a story about wounds and healing those wounds and how can anyone not relate to that? I just think that this, you know, there are many parts of this that are very relevant today. And I think that's something that's really important about theater is that it can, can always bring you back to something that'll, that'll touch you. And I think that each one of these characters and their stories are relatable to every person that will come see it in some kind of way.